What's going on, everybody? I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, and I hope you all have a wonderful and happy and safe New Year. In today's video, a commenter in my Monster Hunter World video provided me an opportunity to make some content, and that's kind of what we're going to do. I'm going to essentially put my mouth where my money is, and before we go on, let's take a look at the comment first. So Geekwad here seems to have a problem with me using two different CPUs, even though I was upfront that I'm using two different PCs because I own two different PCs and I feel I'm allowed to do that. But he seems to have a problem with the fact that maybe the 7900XDX isn't being represented properly because the CPUs are different and one is faster than the other. Then I proceed to explain to him that even if it was a head to head, it wouldn't have made a difference because we're continuously GPU bound throughout that whole entire video. But he says that it doesn't make sense and that I must be new to this and that I don't know what I'm doing and that, you know, he doesn't have the time to explain the difference between AM4 and AM5 as if I don't already know that I've made a ton of videos comparing these two CPUs and some of my older Ryzen CPUs. Then he proceeds to mock the growth of my channel, which is whatever dude like i am extremely grateful for anyone that subscribes to my channel i would have never thought i would have reached 740 subscribers i'm extremely grateful for you guys that watch and comment and subscribe i am just passionate about this stuff and i like to share my passion and have conversations around it that's it and even though he claims i'm being combative i'm not i'm just disagreeing with him and yeah, maybe I'm being a bit blunt, but that's kind of how I am. I mean, I normally would have made two separate videos, but this is an older game that's kind of had a resurgence. So I figured, you know what, I'll just clump the two together to not clutter people's feed. That was the main goal. But anyway, let's dive into the settings first, and then we'll look at the results together. Onto the game settings, then we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous video. We're going to look at 4K native first, and then we'll look at Fidelity Cast upscaling. So we're using the high preset. And just so we're clear, I don't want this video to be as some form of a, or be taken as some form of like a harassment towards Geekwad at all. As a matter of fact, I understand where it's coming from and whatever, however I might have sounded, it's just that I'm just, I just have a different opinion. That's all. And I like to think outside the box. And also it gave me a good opportunity to, to look at it as well because I was 100% sure that there wouldn't be much of a difference. As a matter of fact, I thought that if anything, there could have been a 1% low advantage for the 7800X3D maybe with the CAS upscaling because I believe that's upscaling from a very low resolution because the increase in performance with CAS upscaling off and on is like 70%, right? So. If anything, I expect there to be a little bit of a difference with CAS upscaling between the 7800X 3D and the 5900X. But as far as 4K native, like it is here, I suspect there's no difference at all. If anything, it should be within margin of error, maybe 5% difference with the 1% lows. Otherwise, everything should be pretty much identical because, I mean, guys, I like to make these videos. That's why I wanted to make this video as well, is because I like... Like, I like my viewers, I want to drive this point home that you can't just look at just the reviews that the 7800X 3D is 30% faster than the 5900X. Yes, it is, but the metrics also tell you a lot of what you need to know, right? This is a case-by-case -case scenario. Yeah, obviously, if we were to present the right scenario for the 7800X 3D to shine, we could do that. You can do that even with a 6800 XT if you wanted to. Granted, you choose the right game, the right settings, and the right resolution, right? But all I'm saying is that you guys can, can tell exactly what the hardware is doing by looking at the metrics on the screen. It's all there. That's numbers. The numbers never lie, okay? So as you can see here, I wanted to mix in a little bit of travel, a little bit of trash mob clears, and a little bit of a boss fight here. And as you can see, there really is no difference. If anything, it says the 5900X is a little faster, but that's just margin of error stuff. It all depends on how many enemies were on the screen, blah, 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 blah. And this here will be our upscaling run. So we're going to turn on Fidelity FX Cast upscaling, and then we're using the same preset, high preset. And for this one, I i mean, I know the results already. Obviously, I pre-recorded this and I'm editing it. But I thought that there would probably be a little bit of a difference in the 1% lows. But you'll see that by the end, there really isn't. So 
basically if the 5900X wasn't fast enough for our 7900 XTX, right? When we're running the game at 4K native, now with that, now that we turned upscaling on, we wouldn't gain any more FPS. Or if we were close to the 5900X being the limiting factor, right? If that had been the case, then the 7800X3D would have been faster in these results. What does this tell you? as the viewer right it tells you that both cpus are faster than the gpu in this case right the gpu is why the fps is the same on both meaning both cpus are faster than the gpu in this particular case the metrics tell you everything you can use the metrics if you're thinking of upgrading your pc you can do this yourself and see what you need, see where your shortcomings are and how much more of a performance you can gain by upgrading, right? Because there will always be a bottleneck. No matter how good your hardware is, there will always be a bottleneck. It could be GPU or it could be CPU. And that will depend on the game. It'll depend on the settings and a lot of things. Ideally, you want something to be balanced, right? But if you game at 4K, even if you had a 5900X and a 4090 or 7900X, you would be good. There would be some games where a 7800XD would be fast, but would that be worth it? I don't think so. Unless you're into like competitive gaming where you lower the settings and you want to max out your FPS. If you're a single player gamer, I don't think it's really worth it. Believe me, I have both CPUs. It's not. Now, some games, yes, there's some games that will utilize that extra CPU power with those powerful GPUs, but it's a case by case basis, right? That's kind of how I make my videos, focusing, looking at one game or another game. That's basically it. So yeah, the goal of this, another goal of this video was for me to show you that the video I made, I showed you the capabilities of the RTX 4090 with 4K native and upscaling in this game. And I showed you the capabilities of the 7900 XTX at 4K and with upscaling in this game. And those results were correct, right? As you can see here, it wouldn't have made a difference. Anyways, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from, and I hope you liked this video, and if you did like it, give it a like. If you want to leave any comments below, feel free to do so. I do really appreciate anyone that comments, likes, subscribes, and watches my videos. Uh, I'm really, really thankful that my channel blew up. I've only been taking this thing kind of seriously and talking in videos for the first time only a couple months ago, and I've seen over double growth in... in uh, subscription so I'm really really grateful and it's overwhelming and I really appreciate it uh, from the bottom of my heart thank you